Prime Minister Moses Nagamutu, who is currently executing the duties of president, said members of the David Granger government were saddened over the situation where Commander-in-Chief President David Granger was not able to cast his ballot as an exemplar to the process. Well, I don't know how much that is related to the election, of course, uh, from the point of view that we are all uh, very um, sad that the president isn't here as a citizen to cast his ballot as I have done. Nagamutu gave no impression that as acting president, he was appraised of the president's health status or possible return date, but would only tell reporters that doctors would have advised the head of state not to travel. That I can only guess at this point in time from my experience that the president might have been advised by his doctors that uh, he shouldn't travel at this point in time. Meanwhile, Guyana Elections Commission GCOM officials could not confirm whether any special arrangements were made to allow the President and First Lady to cast their ballots. GCOM's public relations officer Yolanda Ward said that it was rather unfortunate that the President and his wife were not here to vote. Um, the president is not here, it's rather unfortunate, but election ends today um, for us. Um, if that has to be done, I'm sure that um, that will have to be informed at a different level. On October 30th, the first couple departed Guyana for Cuba, where President David Granger underwent a series of tests to determine his sickness. The result of those tests are still being analyzed, but the doctors and the ministry of the presidency has not yet updated the nation on when the president is slated to return home. Kurt Campbell, Newsroom.